Everyone knows that feeling when life gets on top of us. We feel stressed, low, anxious, or have trouble sleeping. You may think there's nothing we can do about it. But now there's a new way to help turn things around. Every Mind Matters will show you simple ways to look after your mental health. It'll get you started with a free online plan designed to help you deal with stress, boost your mood, improve your sleep, and feel more in control. Hey everybody and welcome to Ladies Lounge TV show. Thanks for joining us for another special edition. I'm your host, Sukina, and I'm joined with my other co-host, Miss Data and Miss Stephanie. How are you Hi. doing? Happy New Year. Hello. Exactly. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Without further ado, today's show is another jam-packed special show and we have an amazing guest who is going to fill us in. So without further delay, I'm just going to introduce you to our guest who is Dr. Juliana. Dr. Juliana Owemiri. Dr. Juliana, thank you so much for joining us. And um, for our guests and everybody who's watching, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Today we're focusing on um, a topic that I think is very prevalent in our country and in society full stop and I didn't mention before but we are talking about mental health. Dr Juliana can you tell us why we're talking about that today and why you're joining us? Well first of all mm -hmm. thank you Sakina and Dr and Stephanie mm -hmm. for inviting me on. So I'm here, I'm a, I work as a consultant clinical psychologist and indeed a senior lecturer. I do research at King's College London and I'm here to really talk about the new initiative by Public Health England okay. in partnership with the NHS, the National Health Service, which has developed this new strategy to, to help us really focus on mental health in the same way that we focus on physical health. So I'm really pleased that we're going to have an opportunity to discuss that today on the lounge, but also with your viewers. Okay, Awesome. So why specifically have they come up with a strategy, a plan, a title, a headline for mental health. Why are they focusing on mental health? What is what is the big reason why every mind matters? What is the whole purpose? Brilliant, actually. And um, you seem you, you seem very up to date with it, which is a really good thing. So, um, without just repeating myself, I just want to say so. This is this is an initiative by Public Health England, working in partnership with the NHS. Um, and really trying to kind of get people just to think about their mental health mm -hmm. in the same way that we're actually thinking about small steps about our physical health, it's focusing on our mental health, thinking about strategies to improve our mental well-being and also just to kind of support each other, also support other people. So if you look, you know, some of the research that they've done, if they looked over the last year and the last 12 months, you will find, you know, if we just focus even on black communities, and blacks is so such a broad range, um, you know, around 78% of black communities, certainly within the UK, um, reported having some difficulties. 78%. We can't yeah. just swindle straight over that, that can we? Because that, that is yeah. huge. Yeah. That's, that's like huge 80. numbers. That's almost 80. Yeah, 80 yeah. You can call it 80, really. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's a, a huge number. But not dissimilar to other populations mm -hmm. as well. So let's just kind of keep that in context. But I guess the key bit there is that at any one point, you know, they looked at it, this data over 12 months, people can report having difficulties maybe with their moods, anxiety, stress sleeping and I guess one of the things that was really interesting is at least one quarter of those people would have waited probably about six months or so to you know maybe focus or do anything about it but again what's most important for me is over half of those people you know over 50 percent about 53 percent if you want to be really exact about it um had said they wish they'd acted earlier or acted sooner so the every mind matters is um Essentially, if you want to describe it to anyone who's kind of focused on it, it's an online interactive resource. And depending on the questions or depending on the answers that you input to five simple questions about how things are going on for you, you will, um, you end up with this really nice, you know, individualized um, plan where it helps you to focus on, you know, it might be things that you want to focus on managing stress, um, boosting your mood. Um, even focusing on your sleep, which is often things that can kind of, you know, um, become a bit more problematic if things are getting really difficult, but also just to feel in control. And the real emphasis on Every Mind Matters is about simple steps 
simple steps that you and I or anyone can take and build into their everyday life to really help them focus on their mental health. And it's just really small things. Um, it could be things about just the way that you think about stuff. It could be things about, you know, how you improve your activity. So how you're, you're saying connected. that like there are, there are, you know, things that happen in our daily lives that we may naturally brush off or we should pay attention to. Yeah. And I think it's important because, you know, you guys, your program reaches lots of people. When things happen to us, when things happen to you, to me, you know, ups and downs Day are a normal, yeah. normal, natural part of our lives. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes your sleep does go out. Sometimes your stress levels do go out. Mm. But generally we find that if you kind of leave it for too long... It becomes persistent. Like, yeah. It can just you become a bit of a... for a couple of days, yeah, you just, know. And you've things, just not been in the mood for a couple of days. It's a, it's a normal yeah. and natural response mm. to everyday things but it's just that sometimes if it goes on for too long and yeah. you know you're not thinking about it or you don't want to think about it mm. that's sometimes where some of those difficulties will come in mm. so the the initiative is really to kind of help us to think about how we can get in a bit early mm. but more steps that you can do you can do i can do your mum can do your dad can do by themselves yeah. can i before we go we are sitting here and I, i'm sitting here like because i'm just taking in what you're saying and it's like well, this is deeper than I thought. This is, I, when I say deeper than I thought, it's a bigger, it's a bigger picture. There's a lot more to this than I think any of us have actually thought about mental health and every mind matters. We're all going to throw questions at you in a minute, believe okay. you me. But one of the things I want to ask first of all is, what is mental health? Can you just tell us what that is and what does it look like? Because coming from, I know growing up when I was in, in the seventies, mental health was probably someone who had a psychotic episode walking down the road, yeah. or in Ghana, it was someone who was seen as a witch. What is mental health today in 2020? Well, I, again, so, you know, I think you, you raise a really important question because when we're talking about mental health or mental health problems or mental ill health, you can be having the same conversation with different people, but you're all talking about quite different, different things. things. Mm -hmm. so, because we all have mental health. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, sorry to cut you short, mm -hmm. but... Someone who I spoke to about mental health actually was, you know, offended. The well, person that, didn't think they had mental health. Yeah, because we, so we have to make it clear, first of all, we all have mental health. Okay. So that's totally. what you're saying. That, I, I, I think from yeah. the African community, growing up, maybe growing up in Nigeria, yeah. when they say mental health, it's like, hey, yeah. like, yeah. stay away from me. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. People don't talk you're about mad. it. Yeah. It's like mad. You're on the street. Yeah. There's people that eat yeah. from the, you know, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's very um, so negative. Yeah. yeah. So for you saying mental, mental health, um, we're talking about it now, people will be like, no. But I think yeah. if you break it, when you break it down to say things like not sleeping properly yeah. or things like being too overstressed for a long time mm -hmm. might lead yeah. to, so people can actually look at those in, those things and realise and tackle it in, in yeah. advance before it gets yeah. worse. And I think you guys were spot on anyway. I think, you know, as you're saying, that is that everybody has mental health. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to kind of get focused yeah. on semantics, but everyone has mental health yeah. in yeah. the same way that we all have physical health. Yeah. This focus and certainly the initiative is how we want to boost our mental health. Knowledge. You know, and most about, definitely. Yeah, but yeah. also when we're thinking around mental health, problems and mm -hmm. you know those might be difficulties with your mental health mm -hmm. um in the same way you might have you know physical health physical problems health, yeah. but this initiative is not about trying to say that everyone's got mental health problems, problems. Right. it's actually taking us a step back yeah. based on what people were saying and if we kind of think about in the black communities that they were saying you know i wish i'd focus on this a little bit earlier yeah. you know, mm -hmm. because i was having these difficulties mm -hmm. so this is more preventative stuff this yeah. is more kind of stepping yeah, in early. Early. and you know it's not covering all bits it's covering the bits that tend to be more common for a large amount of people not everyone mm. and those are issues just around stress mm. issues around stress mm. um anxiety sleep and just feeling a bit out of sorts mm. yeah mm. just yeah. things like that so yeah. most definitely but I, I you know as you said stephanie in terms of which I think is a real issue for a lot of communities, but, but you mm. know, even within ours, that there are there are a lot of there's a lot of misconceptions attached to terms. Mm. I'm sure there's some you people looking at the screen going, I bind you now. They yeah. don't believe it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not surprised, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. our community. It's like, no, that's not for me, that's for them. Yeah. So what you're showing us and what you're telling us through information of Every Mind Matters is that it's everybody. 
Most definitely. You if you do not remember yeah. anything mm-hmm. from today, please just remember that, that focusing on your mental health is a concern and an issue for everyone. It's not a bad thing. It's an okay thing. It's like going to the gym. It's kind of kids Completely. fit. Yeah. Completely. It's like, you know, yeah. how you want to, I want to lose weight. Yeah. And I want to go to the gym. Yeah. You want to improve your mental health. There's certain steps you can totally. take. In relation to mental health concerns, people tend to be, and this is across all groups, but this focus on you know, black communities, people tend to be really concerned about what other people think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, First and foremost, you know, you have some issues going on, whatever they are. A lot of the times, people don't know where to go to for help. That is a a really big issue. issue. Mm -hmm. And that's for everybody as well. But also, even then, when you maybe you do know where to go for some help or you would then get really concerned, I think, within our communities about what people might think. Mm. Again, that's across the board, but within our community, people think what they think, you know, um, what would people think about me? What would people think about my family? What does this say? And I think, you know, we all have a job in terms of trying to, I guess, demystify, destigmatize mm. these issues because, you know, we all have brothers, we all you know, have kids mm. or partners. It doesn't it doesn't mean that there's a problem with you or you're weak in some way because you're feeling stressed and things. It actually means it's, it's time to do something. Yeah, you know, you guys look human as well. really yeah. great. You know, you probably work at looking really great because yeah, you're yeah. focused on your physical health. So let's just focus on our mental health in the same That's way. Amazing. I think one of my... One of my Hold that thought. Okay. Not having it. Okay. Because we're going for a break. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good stuff. But hold that thought, Stephanie, because we're yeah. coming right back. So yeah, go and good. top up that drink. Go and get some snacks and come right back with a notepad and get the details. See you back in a minute.